Okay, so now we have a geometric series in the real world. And a new job, an employee's starting salary is 20, 26750 That's going to be your A sub 1 to 26750 He receives a 1.6% annual raise. Okay, so to get the next term, you're going to have to take 26750 times you're going to have the 1, right, plus, that's how much he, he was making, plus the raise, which is going to be 0.016%. So 1.6% of that original. It's kind of like those compound um, interest problems we were doing. So you have the amount that you started with plus an increase. So we're going to make that 1.016. That is actually going to be the R, because every year you're going to be multiplying by that to get the next year's salaries. Salary. So we have enough information right now. This is A sub 1. We know that we're going for 5 years. Oops, I didn't read that part. Find his total earnings at the end of 5 years. So we want 5 of these terms. I'm not going to figure out what they are. I'm going to go right to the formula. And I keep writing the formula, because this is the one I never can remember for some reason. And again, you could put that in parentheses. Probably we're going to use a calculator. So what's the sum of the five terms? Well, it's going to be that 26,750 times 1 minus, and then the R is 1.016 to the power of 5 over uh, 1 minus 1.016. Okay, and then the only thing I need to do is I need to put in an extra set of parentheses for that numerator. Okay, so let's let's go with that. Let me grab my calculator because I'm not doing this by hand. Parenthesis two six seven five zero. Parenthesis one minus one point zero one six to the fifth power. Parenthesis, parenthesis, divided by parenthesis 1 minus 1.016, parenthesis. And, okay, so this is how much money in five years. 138099.03, we'll go to the nearest penny. And so that's about how much money this person's making in five years. Okay. It's all the calculator doing the calculating for us.